Start your computations. All right, so I'm going to try to make my first ever kimchi jjigae. Wish me luck. Let's do this. I hope it turns out good. I really hope it does. But even if it doesn't, I won't be too sad because it's my first attempt. And who can get it perfectly right on their first attempt, right? My mom just told me to search on YouTube. <laughs> I was gonna do that, but I just wanted to see if she had any tips for me. Alright, so I have my kimchi and I'm going to slice it into small pieces. This kimchi is so ripe. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh, these kimchi pieces are already kind of small. Okay, I guess I don't have to cut it. Yes! And for this, I'm going to be using my white pot, which I'm kind of scared to use because I feel like the kimchi might stain it, but what good is it if I don't use it, right? I didn't buy this to just stare at it. I have to put it to good use. This might be the last time seeing this pristine white pot. It might be like yellowish orangish the next time you see it. I don't know how much I should put. Is that too much? This should be good, right? I'll also be adding some chamgirim. It's smelling good already. Added water and I'm waiting for it to boil. All right, now I'm going to be putting a spoonful of minced garlic. I'm going to be cutting some vegetables I'm going to put in there. I really like onions, so I'm going to put onions in there too. It smells really good. I'm also gonna put meat flavoring powder in there. I don't know what it's called. It's called tashima in Korean. Cutting tofu. Added some tofu in there. Why does it look so like flimsy? Oh god. microwave to make this the easy way. I don't have to boil it for 10 minutes. I can just pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds. I think I also want to make myself some fried eggs. It's not looking very pretty, but it smells good. It's time to eat my first ever kimchi jjigae. Oh my gosh, I hope it tastes good. Let's do a taste test. So I'm not gonna be eating straight out of it because I don't want it to go bad. This is probably enough to eat for like three days.
Mm. It doesn't have like depth to it the way the stores make them. It's a very like light taste. It's not like bland or anything, but there's just no depth to it. Maybe because I didn't add pork? Maybe, but I mean, it's good enough for me. Mm. I would say my first kimchi jjigae is a success. This is exciting. I'll send it to my mom. Now that I've eaten, it's time for me to do some work, aka open up some packages. Um, but before that, water is boiling for my tea. Anyways, my friend Leah got me a housewarming gift. She got me this candle. It smells really good. And this is sage. White sage. Nine incense sticks. I'm pretty stoked to try this out. Thank you, Leah, for these gifts. Okay. So the first package today, I believe, is a plant. A hanging plant. Got it. Are plants supposed to be packaged like this? I don't know. This is from a brand called Kokodama and there's no plastic. Everything is 100% degradable and it's a handmade coconut product. That's cute. Super cute. Yay, new plant baby. And then here I believe is a lamp for my living room. Supposed to be this short. I gotta look it up. Uh, I guess it is supposed to be this size. It's only 140 centimeters. I mean, I guess that's better because the ceilings in my house aren't that high, so I think it's better that it's a little short. Okay, let me put the light bulb in now. It's kind of strange that the light bulb is sticking out up here. What the heck? I wish this like came up here and kind of covered the light bulb Oops, I realized I put it in backwards <laughs> No wonder, I was like, why? Why is it like this? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so silly now that looks better. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yes. This is my little friend now. Okay, so my vanity is finally coming in today after like a month and a half since I moved in. Someone is coming in to actually install it for me and I still don't know how to arrange my room. Right now I have the bed here as soon as you enter. And I've just put all the things that I need to put like on the vanity over here So I was originally gonna move the bed over here this way horizontally and put the makeup table the vanity right here but The thing is the window is over here. So I feel like If I'm sitting this way doing makeup like it's gonna be dark because the backlight but then at the same time my vanity has a mirror and if I put it on this side, it's kind of it's gonna block the window Should I just put the mirror on this wall and use the very left side of the room and put the bed over there? I don't know man. I'm, I'm lost Or should I put the vanity here on this side of the wall? Somebody help me I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that bad if I did put the vanity there and maybe got some LED lights to put on the mirror I don't know what the wise thing would be to do I'm trying to envision this I really can't envision it, why? Either way, I'm gonna have to move this corner out and clean this area So let's just do that first I think I 
made up my mind that I want the vanity to go on this wall and I'm going to just move this bed up so the head touches the wall right here with the window. I don't know, where should I put it over there? Because I feel like if the light comes from like from one side, if I were to film makeup videos and stuff, I feel like you won't be able to see the makeup that well. <laughs> It's really big, but I'm glad because I'm going to have a lot of storage space. Um, yeah, so the bed is here for now. This room's going to be full after. Alright, so they finished installing the vanity. Finally! And I put my cosmetic refrigerator up here. Yeah, it's pretty big, but I'm glad I can finally sit down and put my makeup on. Now it's time to organize and put all my stuff into these drawers. Alright, so I just cleaned my refrigerator and now I'm going to put everything back in there. minimal lifestyle when I have three boxes of lips just lipsticks this is all just lipstick and that's all lipstick I think I'm gonna need this whole drawer just for lipsticks I'll start with the hair hair stuff since I barely used this I'm gonna put this in first I think I'm gonna need to buy like organizers, but I'm just gonna put everything in for now. It's like plain Tetris. I'm gonna take a break and eat some of the leftover kimchi jjigae because I'm starving. I finished my food and now back to organizing. These are actually all the products that I use most. Minimal life is hard. Hot packs and eye masks are going in here. Okay, this is full now. I think I'll put all the products that are new and unused in here. buy this color <laughs> I think I bought this when I was in like ninth grade now I'm gathering all the red lipsticks here and I'm gonna put all the like hot pinks here and then over here I'm gonna put like the darker red wine colored lips and try to put it by color I already have all the MLBB colors right here on the left these are all the stuff that I'll be throwing out there will probably be more I think it's easier to organize by colors rather than like brands. Wow, this is like a highlighter. I'm not finished, but I have to go to radio now, so I guess I'll complete it when I get back. It's been fun organizing though. Just a little. See you guys after I get back from radio. Baby, the mange is the same, and then I don't know what to call. Cradle it all. The door, you look so foreign. You hear yourself. 